I started teaching about trauma-informed care and seeing the world through that lens. Um, that's what we try to get others to do, but, but that's transformed us as well. A friend was starting a crime reduction, she was managing a crime reduction grant, and wanted me to help her out with befriending people in this program. Um, the Day Reporting Center, it's a um, program for high-risk, high-need felony offenders with addictions, and so I would take lunch just to make friends and conversations and sort of got into people's worlds that way and just kind of fell in love with that population and wanted to help. What started, I assume, with the trauma-informed care, but also the trying to address addiction, um, has been so embraced by the community that we hosted a forum last year um, with the National Center for Trauma-Informed Care because we're the only city that has done some of the things that we've done. One of the things that is my primary area of service now had parallel to that been working with um, an organization that wanted to, to, to mobilize the faith community to be some of the the service army to to help people who who live with addiction i now am heading up co-founding a co-founder of the holy friendship collaborative which is an organization that is um, was developed to help prepare faith communities to come alongside people who struggle with addiction one of the things that um, i think is really important as i've done some of this teaching to large groups and, and writing grants and getting grants, amazingly enough, um, has been that I keep doing the one-on-one -on -one, uh, service myself. It's not that I'm asking people to do this. It's more genuine if I am not only promoting it, but I'm living it every day.